Hello and welcome to a new update for Dialogic. In the version 0.7 we have a lot of things. I removed some legacy files, a lot of stuff that was from the previous versions. Now everything should be relevant to the current one. I added this amazing new theme tab which I will cover now. I also did some improvements into the character stuff. I added a context menu so you can remove characters or open the working director from there. I also added the same kind of menu in the timelines. So if you saw my previous videos, you will notice that this was not supposed to happen in the version 0.7. But I moved the timeline a little bit because a lot of people is impatient to start using it. So this version brings it closer to that. And also because I don't think it makes sense to make the glossary first since most of the notes are not working and the dialogue node wasn't working exactly. So I needed to get that in line. The timeline will look like this right now, which is the same but in a different order. And I'm still trying to get to version 1.0 by January or February. Let's open the Dialogic tab and now you will see we have this new icon over here which is the theme which will have all the options available for you to use. Right now it's a little bit limited but I will keep adding stuff here so you can modify more stuff. The first option would be the font which you can pick one of the TRES files which you can generate in Godot. You can also change the color. Let's say you want the color to be green for some reason. And whenever you make a change here, you can press on this preview changes button and a new dialog will pop up with the new changes that you have. So let's go back to white and preview changes. Okay. The text speed, which bigger means that each letter will take longer to appear. In this case, it's at two. If we do it at 10, you see that the text is much slower. But if we do it to one, or zero, one is super fast and zero is instant. You see that the animation resets there, but yeah. So you can pick the speed that you like. Also shadows, which you can enable here and select a color. So if you want to add like a glow to your text, you can do so. You see it surrounded. You can also set the offset and you will see the offset there. I don't think a shadow suits this kind of dialogue, but that's okay can disable it and you will see it. it's gone. The background texture, which is an image that will fill the entire dialogue. And I will chip some versions of it, but you can do whatever you like. In this case, I added them in add-ons, dialogic, images, background, and you have these two versions. One white, which is the default from previous examples, and the black one, which is a new one. Let's change to background one, which is the bright one, and you can see it changes. So let's change the color of the text. Okay. And also the next indicator, which you can change to whatever. In this case, we can change it to our favorite image, which is the cutout icon, and we see it there. Next up is the box padding, which is the space between the text and the box. In this case, let's go back to zero so you can see how it will look like. You see the text is very close to that. So if your images need some extra spacing, you can change it here. This is vertical space, so only on top, and then horizontal space only on the sides. And here is the action key. The action key, it will be one of the actions that you have defined in your project. As you can see, you can add them or remove them like any other option, like in project, project settings, input map, and here you can add or modify the ones that you have. In this case, let's go with UI right, for instance, and whenever you press right, it will go to the next text or close. And last thing you can see, this is the preview text. Uh, this is how you would write inside your Dialogic text events, and you can add whatever you like to this box and it will show up here. It's only for preview, so you don't need to worry about this one too much. Next thing is that right now in a custom scene, I created one here. You can add this dialogue now. This node is located in your Dialogic uh, nodes and here you can just drag and drop it. We already have one. And you will have this timeline ID option. So you can get any timeline ID by going to your Dialogic timelines. And for instance, this conversation, I can 
right click copy timeline id and i can paste it here i will improve this okay this is not the final version remember but since a lot of people was asking me hey well now we're gonna have that so yeah here you have a very basic version of it so i can save this and whenever i play this scene we will see this conversation happen with the style that we already defined in the custom theme tab and pressing right goes to the next one and that's it so right now the only event that is properly implemented is the text event i will need to keep adding this again because the backend changed a little bit but i will continue updating you on twitter if you are following me for more updates or if you follow the repository before they released 0.7, I used to work in a different branch, so I would have all the changes going there and then release it whenever I had a video. But right now, I think it makes more sense to just keep pushing to master. So whenever I make any new updates, you will see them here. I will keep updating the change log and you can get the latest version by downloading it from here, download a zip or, or checking the releases. Remember that the logic is still not ready for production and everything is being worked on but i'm really happy how it's starting to shape up if you have any questions leave them in the comments i would really like to thank my patreons and if you want to chat with me i'm always available on discord so feel free to come and say hi thanks and see you next time